5%. Chion, I need to be clean. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the end of the first, I'm going to call it a chapter, and we're, we just got out of the menu, we up, we added the missiles onto our mech, and I'm still wandering around, because I really don't know where to go. Now, if you've been following so far, we've learned, uh, well, we've learned a bunch of stuff that we really don't know what's going on, but we're now getting to the point where we're supposed to be getting to the escape pods and we're also heading towards the hangar bay which I think is where the giant golden obelisk thing from 2001 and 2011 is located as far as what I'm actually doing I don't know See, what I did there is I broke that thing so that I get a bonus on different uh, attacks. And we get to fight penis monsters again. Yay! I haven't figured out why they don't like my robot, and I figured out that uh, the brain eater over here, he really can't do anything cool. I mean, he can shoot people and shoot people, and I think he can punch people, but he doesn't have any really cool moves, which makes me wonder if he's really a main character at all, whereas, you know, Cosmos can do things like that, and that's pretty awesome. And, of course, she kills him. The only thing I don't like is that you really need to know what's going on when you're looking at the different things from the, from the AGWS. And because you have to know that those are going to mean, you know, submachine guns, short-range missiles. Uh, if, the good thing is that if you ever played any of the Mech Warrior games... Those look amazingly similar to the old Mech Warrior setups, to where you can just be like, oh, SMG, submachine gun. Ah, got it. Let's wander around some more. This hallway, I have to give credit for because I didn't expect them to have, you know, I expected it to be the normal cold, sterile, oh, people died. But no, they all got away magically. But no, there are actually bodies laying through the hallways, which I didn't expect to see. And there's that. And there's also the giant hole where something happened. Oh, and the bridge that uh, Dingbat blew the people up to make. I don't know why I can... I guess they're exploding barrels in every game. So why not? I obtained Stim. Stim! No. Tim? Tim Stim. Tim Stim! Anyways, so I have no clue where I'm going still. 
I like I said, I was so annoyed that the map got taken away from. Guess what? He's dead. Let's check this guy. Oh, he was still alive. Oh, I probably should have talked to him again. See, that would have been great if the first time you talk to him, he actually says something, and then the next time you talk to him, and then it says he's dead. That would have been pretty cool. I really wish I knew where I was going. don't like about that little lottery thing where it says ring up right now which is skill up is that it changes every time somebody does something which means that if the bad guys get a turn in between me it can change to where I set them up for having high critical which is really annoying I would rather just you know be able to see or at least see when people are gonna go because I really don't understand the little thing down there, and I don't understand boost at all. And I went through the tutorial, so I, I mean, I should understand it, right? any of you are wondering why I haven't called this a walkthrough it's because I don't want anyone to follow in my footsteps I'm not good at this game I'm not navigating very well and it's just I mean if you're following me look how long it's taken us to get this far now I know a few of you are playing along as well but man if you're following me you're you're as lost as I am, which means that this is game is gonna take you forever. You're never gonna finish.
Do you really think this is a good idea? good thing is that in here we can save and that means that if I die we don't have to go all the way back that would be painful I miss memory cards it might be just something about me but I actually miss the the, the good old days of having a memory card and moving it from place to place and I, I know that we can do it with thumb drives and that we can kind of move them around that way, but there's just something about having having a memory card and having all of your save data on that precious memory card that just it gives me a warm feeling inside. So every time I save, and that's one thing I do have to give credit is that when the when the PS3 does the PS1 emulation and it goes back and says, "Hey, you know, we're saving to a memory card." It's like, "Aww." I like you guys for that. Even though it's not true and you're saving it to a big hard drive inside, I understand, and but it still gives me warm fuzzies. I love that we go from dun 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 dun, dun to silence in this room. It's just amazing. That and I really don't know what a coat lightning is. This is where I am trying in vain to figure out what that lightning coat is, or coat lightning, or whatever. And trying to figure out how to actually equip characters, because I'm not really sure. I, I think I figure it out eventually. We go to characters. Yeah, I can't equip. Virgil! That's his name. Yeah. Meh, meh. That sounds about right for him. So equip. We can equip. I don't know what the scope does. I've never made the scope work. Displays enemy health, but I've never... I don't know, maybe I'm not using it right. Coat lightning. Once again, don't know where we're going with this. I think I opt not to equip it. But I'm going to play around in the menus for a little bit longer.
Yeah, that's right. Enough of that menu stuff. Let's fight some fools again. Because that's always not really that fun. Although there are... I, I saw like a little squirrely guy. I didn't see the two giant goblins that he brought with him. By the way, I love the fact that all of the bad guys are named after like D&D bad guys. It's like somebody just went through the monster manual and was like, ah, I don't know what that's called. Uh, goblin. That's a kobold. And that's a manticore. And that's a giraffe. And that's a unicorn. Oh, and this will be the last battle that I'll play at normal speed. I'm going to at least speed the next ones up a little bit because this is starting to get... I mean, you guys get the idea by now. You use the really cool thing, then you use the other really cool thing, and then they do something really awesome. You know, mechs are awesome. Duh. Why was there never a... Uh, I mean, I know that... The Transformers, the War of Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, that kind of thing. Why was there never like an RPG? That would have made just the coolest sense to me. Like have a run around like, yeah, I'm Optimus Prime. We're going to rule out. You know, this is Rawhide. I can fix you or whoever it was. No, Rawhide's the song, right? Ironhide. There we go. All right. I got it now. All systems clear. that each battle takes me about a minute. So while it may not look too impressive, I mean, it actually looks kind of funny sped up now that I look at it. I should probably find a better one. Uh, uh, Yakety Sack, for those of you who don't know. Just look it up, kids. But... I don't know. I mean, I guess it's the fact that I don't have, you know, a, a black belt and a red mage and a white mage and a fighter running around. I mean, don't get me wrong, the stuff that Cosmos does is pretty awesome. The enemies have been exterminated.
species have been exterminated. Your favorite time in mine, menu time. I actually need to heal people up. Or no, I'm just playing around because I think somebody leveled or something. And apparently I can do something. I'm not I'm not sure. Use E points. I th oh, here's where I finally figure out what all that leveling did. So apparently there's this giant card thing over there that does something so you can evolve or transfer things and you can evolve analyze acquire a new ether skill goodbye ally or analyze one enemy which i don't think i've ever gotten that to work either but and apparently it just keeps unlocking down the tree and it goes broadens out more and more and more and just keeps going I'm not really sure why I'm sitting at the screen. Let's go ahead and uh, get to where I do something. There. So now I know a new skill. Analyze. Medica, analyze. Medica, analyze. And I can involve Medica and get goodbye. So now I've got Medica analyzing goodbye. Seems pretty straightforward. And then apparently I can set them. Yeah, so I can set, and they've got a weight of one. I don't know what the weight means. So I can set them all. I, I really don't know. I just, I don't know. Analyze items and hit point. Okay, cool. So I can figure out what the enemy's carrying and what his hit points are. I thought I had an item that did that. Anyways. So let's go ahead and see what uh, Cosmos can do. We'll use her E points. Mode 7A. Self focus physical attack. Okay. Use E points to train. I don't know. I really don't. But eh, we'll maybe we'll figure that out later. All right. I was about to tell you guys all about T points and nearly choked to death on a grapevine. Not not like a, a grape grapevine, but uh, there's there are red vines, for those of you who know what those are, and those are twists that are candy twists that are really good. I like them above Twizzlers, but that's just me. But uh, my wife decided she found me some red vines, which I love, and I thank her for that. But uh, she also found grape vines, which are uh, grape-flavored twists. So I was eating one of those and nearly choked myself to death, which was uh, not good. But back to here. Uh, so just like you have the E points, you also have T points. So E R ether points, T R tech points, which are the physical attacks. Well, normally physical attacks. No, they're tech attacks. Physical attacks are something different. You know what? I'm so confused. I really don't know.
finally out of those stupid menus and into some combat where I have menus. Okay. And here we go with the mother of all cutscenes. I'm gonna shush for a while, and I'll kind of just kind of hop in when I when I feel the need. I get the feeling that he is channeling like every crazy guy in an army movie ever. Like, especially, you know, the guy in the helicopter that's, how do you kill women and children? It's easy, you don't need them as much. Oh, even Xion got a gun. Now that was some cold shit. She's gonna throw up. Yeah. The, yeah, Cosmos. 
please make haste. How do you capsize in space? Wait, Cosmos. Ah. Anyway, ah, whatever. Do you understand what you've just done? My assigned duty is to protect Vector employees. Protection of military personnel is not part of my prime directive. That's no excuse! You have no right to go about killing people! Why did you shoot Lieutenant Virgil? With your power, you don't have to sacrifice anyone to- At that time, Lieutenant Virgil was in my direct line of fire. Any changes in my firing position to avoid Lieutenant Virgil while protecting you would have resulted in a 30% depreciation in my offensive capabilities. On the other hand, with the Lieutenant's death, there would only be a 0.2% drop in efficacy. I simply chose the option with the highest probability to keep you alive. Well, it's the old android saying, efficacy Furthermore, over efficacy. The pod has a maximum capacity of two occupants. I believe it is obvious who gets priority. How could... How can you even say that? Have you no conscience? Shion, you forget I am not human. I am merely a weapon. You, of all people, should be well aware of that fact. What is your decision? Will you board the escape pod, or will you not board the escape pod? If you wish to express remorse for his death, it is best that you survive. Otherwise, you will render his death meaningless. Come on, Chief. Let's go. Is that a space whale? It looks like a space whale. It's a cute little space whale. <laughs> Who's a cute little space whale? Disabling auto safety. Destroy all targets. Oh, it's a minotaur. Yeah, that looks just like a minotaur. And that's a skyfish. Doop. Okay, sure, whatever. Anyway, this is the first boss fight of the game. Well, unless you, unless you count the training boss fight. But really, this is the first boss boss fight. And yes, I know I was reading this up here, but it's just, I mean, it's the same fight. We need more characters or more diversity and stuff. I mean, they're all... Just, I know we're all low level right now. It's kind of the old thing of the hero. If you ever play D and D, one of the coolest things that is that in second edition, I think it was, maybe it was A D and D, but to be a to be a wizard, you start out with a spellbook. The spellbook is worth like a thousand gold. So the first thing that most people would recommend you do is sell your spellbook, buy plate mail, buy an awesome sword. Be a warrior for a few levels. Because you know what? A wizard in full play is just as good as a warrior in chainmail.
recommend reorganizing the group. Now that that's over, let's get back to some plot. ever. They just fly through the ship, grab the whatever it is, and then fly it out through the ceiling. Genius! I love it! Okay, these must be the space whales that I've been hearing about. Affirmative. The target object was not the original. Affirmative. It was an emulator. Roger. Upon deploying tracking device, I will depart immediately. As originally planned, I will head for second Milsha. I... What? Who were you talking to? That doesn't make any sense. All right, so I really don't know what happened there, but it's going to let us save, which is kind of cool. Um, and we're going to get a little bit more. There's a an epilogue, if you will, that'll kind of... It's not going to explain anything, though, but it's going to move the plot forward. Actually, you know what? I don't even know what's going to do that, but I don't know. You Just keep watching, and we'll see what happens. They sure went all out. You think there's anything left out there? Hey, Tony. How long before the Federation gets here? Well, let's see. 
The last SOS went out a half an hour ago, so... We've probably got at least three hours, right? No sign of any nearby ships either. Right, Hammer? Okay, Blondie there, his voice the reminds me of somebody. And I know I've heard his voice before, but All I right. cannot place it. That should be enough. Is there... If, if any of you know, please just note it. it down in the comments. Because I yeah, don't I know. The deadline for paying back Master Guinan is right around the corner. But don't you think this is a little risky? I mean, if the feds find us out, we'd be lucky to get ten years. That's if they find out. You know the feds aren't going to patrol all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, I just don't like the idea of feeding off the dead. I mean, what are we? Space jackals? Vultures? Hyenas? You moron. What kind of metaphor is that? Don't be comparing us to extinct animals. You'll jinx us. Wait, We're all of those things are extinct? Wow, this is recyclers. the future. Master Guinan told us to stay away from any side jobs, remember? He said it hurts the Foundation's image. I don't know. Oh ho! We got a wrecked ship here, three o'clock. Looks like a Ganymede class. Nice work there, Tony. Good thing we were tapping the UMN emergency channel. Come on, pull in close, hurry. Yep, we're vultures. What was that? Spectrum matches up perfectly. It's a geocrystal. All right, not bad. Let's start with that one. It's not a geo crystal, you idiot. It's a corpse. Well, what'd you expect? This is a battlefield. That's eh, no big deal. Don't bother wasting fuel. Just keep going and let it bounce off. You're kidding, right? My dead grandma told me to be respectful of the dead. Sorry, but I don't want any bad karma. You do it, Captain. You moron. What? Is that your grandfather out there? Don't be ridiculous. Just shut up and keep moving. Man, not again. Ah, Captain, it's just so a corpse. Go ahead and run over the dead. Nothing work. nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. You moron! What the hell are you doing? I said bounce it off! Well, don't look at me. It got stuck on its own. It's not my fault. Whatever. Just get rid of it. Hey, it's a girl. She might be cute, you know? <laughs> <laughs> My ass, you sicko. Who the hell cares how she looks? She's dead. Exactly. Besides, she's facing the other way. It's a shame we can't meet face to face. Please open your communications line. I need to speak with you. Frequency 2020. Ah, a talking corpse. <laughs> You moron! Open your eyes! That ain't no corpse! This ain't happening. This ain't happening! It, uh, it's a realian, or a cyborg, something like that. But I've never heard of a realian that can operate out in space. Well, it's probably a military robot or something. Just open the channel. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Captain Matthews of the Tramp Freighter Elsa. We received your SOS signal earlier. It happened to be within range of our navigational path, uh, so we rushed here to your rescue. Huh? Rescue? rescue? Oh. Boot to the head. Uh, <clears throat> so, is there anything we can do to assist you? What do you mean, rescue? What about our side job? Relax, you moron. We're gonna grab what we can while taking care of this little rescue. With this miss, I bet there's no one left alive anyway. I will make this brief. I request that you gate jump to Second Milsha immediately. Say what? Oh, yeah. Keep dreaming, sweetheart. We can't leave yet. We still got work to do. And besides, Second Milsha? Have you any idea how much it would cost to travel that far? There is no need for concern. We will cover all UMN gate fees incurred. You expect us to believe that? Even if that were true, we've got other business to attend to right now. We don't have that kind of time. 
My time is limited as well. Failure to comply will result in the destruction of this window. <laughs> I'm going to break your window. Oh, wait, that's in space. Punch from a girly like you wouldn't even dent. One more strike and this window will shatter. It appears that none of you are wearing spacesuits. Keep in mind that I am making this proposal with goodwill. I could just as easily toss you out into space and take over the ship. For some reason, I have the fifth element running through my head where the guy is just like, where did he learn to negotiate like that? Had you accommodated me from the outset, we would have saved one minute, 45 seconds. I am coming on board now. Please open the cargo bay. Yeah. Right. One more thing. What? What? Do not accelerate in an attempt to knock me off. If you do so, I will destroy the engine and the entire ship with it. <sighs> She's got us, Red. Shut up. This really makes me look forward to the Xeno game that's been, I don't know, shown or it's X. Game, I don't. I mean, I don't know what it's going to be in, and I really want to play Xeno Gears, but I'm going to finish out the Xeno Saga first, which is going to take forever. By the way, I'm sorry huh? that this is over an hour long, but hey, Captain, just uh, really wanted to keep it going. Who could it be? Survivors? We're closing uh, in on the end of this. On. Epilogue, so speakers. I'll just let it keep going. Hello? Is anybody out there? Hello? Anyone? If anyone is scanning this channel, please help! Come on, Chief, you give it a try. Don't worry. A rescue ship will come for us eventually. I'm more concerned about Cosmos. Now, where could she be? How would I know? Besides, we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, the Gnosis might still be around. I'm not worried about that right now. We have to retrieve Cosmos. Forget about Cosmos, what about us? Well, if I knew this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have let everyone else go first. Maybe they're still around. You think? I can't believe you. Alan, how can you be so insensitive after all that's happened? What do you mean? Of course I'm traumatized. Chief, that was really uncalled for. Do you think that I'm an emotionless android? Dude, somebody's hot miking. Hot mic, hot mic. Is the most traumatizing thing of all. No, I never said anything like that. You just did. You think I'm an android, don't you? What the hell? Huh? Hey. Shion. Cosmos? Cosmos, is that you? Where are you right now? I am on board a civilian ship passing through the area. Please remain at your current locale. A Federation rescue vessel should arrive soon. Remain here? Cosmos, just what are you up to? I am commandeering the ship to go to Second Milsha. These are my orders from headquarters. You're going wait. Wait a second! What about us? Unfortunately, you were not mentioned in my orders. Therefore, this mission takes priority. Oh, I see. What, you expect us to sit here and wait for the cavalry? That is the logical conclusion. Wait a second! What guarantee do we have that the Federation will dispatch a rescue? What if no one comes? The two of us will starve to death inside this pod! You can't do this! Actually, suffocation would come first. Your air yeah, she's real reassuring. Oh, in that case, suffocation? That is correct. But there is a 96% probability that a rescue vessel will arrive within 15 hours. Your chances of survival are high, 
But this is not a certainty. Uh, but... There's no way I'm going to allow this. You cannot act on your own, Cosmos. Bring us on board immediately. There is no time for this. I am signing off. Xion, Alan, please take care. Now just wait one second, Cosmos. You better bring us on board, or I'll open the hatch. You hear me? What? What are you doing, Chief? Please, don't do anything crazy. Be quiet, Alan. Listen to me, Cosmos. You know what'll happen if I turn this lever, right? Doesn't this go against your directive? After all, you're supposed to bring us back alive. Am I right? You are delaying me from my mission. I suggest you do as you please. Cosmos! You don't believe I'll do it, do you? I'm serious, you know. What? She's really gonna do it! Why not help her? <sighs> Sounds like she means it. Hey, Chaos. You're up. With all this racket, who could sleep? And welcome to the creepiest member of the crew so far, Chaos! Who looks like a... A Barbie doll that something happened to. Something bad happened to. I don't know. So, is that okay with you? Well, it looks like she doesn't have any objections. So it's all up to you, Captain. What do you say? Think we ought to rescue them? Uh, well, if you say so. Sure, I don't mind. Tony? <laughs> I love that Commander What's-His-Name is just, like, clinging onto the life pod. That just makes my day. Excuse us. Uh, um, we... I'm Captain Matthews. My name is Shion Uzuki, and I'm from Vector Industries' first R&D division. And this is my co-worker, Alan Ridgely, who also works in the same division. We do apologize for all the trouble our errant cosmos may have caused you. Come on, Alan. Show them your gratitude. Uh, right. Brown chicken, brown cow. Thank heavens you were around to rescue us. We almost became space dust out there because of my stubborn boss here. <laughs> ah! You ought to save your thanks for chaos over there. We were just gonna leave you and fly on out of here. Oh, I see. Thank you, chaos. No, don't mention it. After all, we all need a little help sometimes. Yeah. He often saves our hides, too. So, we can't turn him down when he asks for a favor. I see. That reminds me. Hey, Cosmos. And just what do you think you're doing? You left us and then tried to go to Second Milsia by yourself. Maybe your OS is malfunctioning or something. Yes, that is possible. By the way... What were the orders from HQ? Captain Matthews, may I use the maintenance lab next to the hangar? Just a second, Cosmos. Yeah, sure. What for? Cosmos! Due to the limitations of the test juice condenser, my energy reserves are almost depleted. I wish to receive a co-generator bypass in order to replenish them. Hey! What is wrong with you? Answer me, Cosmos! So, you'll cover the bill, right? Yes. Cosmos! Yes? My sensors appear to be malfunctioning. Please adjust them before we disembark at our destination. 
Why should I? Please, Xian. This is part of your job, is it not? Oh, that's right. That's your job. So get with the soldering iron, lady. Ha ha ha. No, I mean I, I understand where she's going, and I mean, sorry. but it's kind of it's got to be kind of weird, like so you know, you're a scientist and you make I this really cool android, and then right. it basically gets it. giving order given orders from from headquarters, right. and now it's off doing crazy things without you. It's like the here. the creation has how left the creator it? behind. Once we arrive, how about you and I get a suite and settle in with a nice bottle of wine? What? Huh? Uh, sure. All right, that's enough, Tony. Never mind her, at least she's a real girl. The other one's not even human, she's battle weaponry. You think so, huh? She appears to be just like any other human to me. Captain, any chance of stopping at Sunir? Hmm? That's en route on the column. Three or so days from Italia. If that's your destination, sure, I can do that. I see. And the fee? Today just ain't my day. And getting greedy now won't do me any good. I'll just put it on the tab. I appreciate it. Ah, don't mention it. You're a Marine. Let's just chalk it up to my bit of charity for the Corps. are still lurking around. Ah, it's coming in! Son of a bitch! Ah! Ah! Chaos! I know. I mean, that's... Wow. <laughs> the Gnosis! <sighs> what did he just... Do. Well, that's what I meant when I said he looks out for us. Looks out for you? How did he just do that? I've never heard of a human that can defeat Gnosis. There are those who draw well, and those who run fast. Hammer's navigational skills are top-notch, and his knowledge of the net is vast. I was so hoping that he was continuing, just gonna keep rhyming, but of course, that was when he ran out of rhymes. The captain? Well, no one holds a greater amount of debt than the captain. Ah, yes. Hey, wait a second. <laughs> I love that. Why are the captains always in debt? You would think they would have the most money. It's something that defines who they are. Xion, what is it that defines you? Huh? Me? Well, I... It's the same for me. It's just something I can do. Yep, that's all there is to it. Ah. I see. Right. I think I get it. It sort of makes sense when you put it that way. Yep, that's how it is. That's all that. What the? How can you be convinced by that? That was a Gnosis, Chief. A Gnosis! Well, Captain. We better head for our destination before she throws us off the ship. The girl seems to be a stickler for schedules and all. Man, oh man. So much for my grandiose plans. After this job, I was supposed to pay off my debts, then head to Keltia to see the Seraphim sisters live in concert. Bah, you owe Master Guinan too much. You'll never pay it all off. 
And man, the Seraphim sisters again? You're really hot for them, aren't you? Captain, you don't actually have to go all the way out to Keltia. Why don't you just connect to the UMN and watch it later? You moron. Getting a visual feed is nothing compared to immersing yourself in the real thing. There's a world of difference between the two. It's all about reality. Who are you kidding? It's all the same. Your brain can't tell the difference. Why, you... Hurry up and take us out of here. All right. Roger that. Well then. I'll take Xion and the others to their rooms. That's very kind of you. All right, you do that. Damn. Today's been one hell of a day. All right, I didn't want to interrupt, but there are so many times throughout that last little bit where I was just inside my brain. It was just going, that's what she said. That's what she said. That's what she said. Over and over and over again. Master Wilhelm. I have a report from Cosmos. Xian Uzuki and Alan Ridgely have both joined up with Cosmos. I see. This is fortunate. Especially since there's an unidentified ship closing in on the battlefield. And if the ship were to threaten the girl, Cosmos would protect her. Is that not right? Yes. That would be the prime directive. Either way, it was a wise decision to pull back Cosmos. There's no need for us to continue serving them or the Federation any longer. Besides, the data for the Rhine Maiden is now complete. All phenomena are moving forward as specified by this compass of order. As for the rest... Gather the necessary factors and wait for the other one to awaken. All right, and that is the end of what I consider to be chapter one of episode one of Xenosaga. Uh, we'll be starting again next week and see what part nine brings us. Thank you for watching, and as always, play on. <laughs>